So I, uh, changing scenery here. I'm in my bedroom. I, uh, let me just see. I, um, changed my routine a little bit because I know I have a, a massage therapy client tomorrow at 2, so I want to make sure I get to the gym and back and be all right by then. So I'm just getting used to taking a uh, shower the night before and then just getting ready. And also because today I had to do work. I had to do my uh, Fiverr artic uh, articles. I finally sent the one in that I needed to send in. Because I'm not too familiar with Fiverr, like all around, you know what I mean? I know the basics, uh, and then I had uh, things that were late, and then now I see you can extend the uh, the time, and then uh, but when it's late, then the person can cancel. So, this guy didn't cancel, I sent it in, but he had sent me a message, and I only check it every few days because I'm scared to check it. <laughs> until I finished, you know, one of the work, you know, I did send them saying I'd be a day late, but this is like almost, you know, five days or maybe, you know, so that's where I'm at. Uh, I finally sent it in and he didn't cancel, so that's it. And then the other thing I did, I, he sent a message a couple of days ago and finally I checked it, I was scared because it was... I had to send him parts, he was like, I need to show it to my boss and all that. And he didn't ask for any correction, so that was good. Um, and then he asked if I needed, uh, if I wanted more work, and I'm like, yeah, I want more work. And then he said I could give you the rest of the money through a tip. Because I have certain tiers of projects, of gigs, but it was less than the price that we negotiated, so then you send the difference in a tip. Someone else did that, sent me a tip. So I'm like, I'm learning how it's working, but um, not helping my um, my stats by handing things in late and stuff. And uh, I'm going to have to message him to say, how do I f go around fixing that ahead of time or whatever? Because it's just Fiverr, and it gets you gets me anxious. And I, and I had a, a few businesses, um, so it doesn't matter whether the things are large businesses, brick and mortar businesses, or just something on Fiverr that you're trying to get into. It's giving me the same anxiety, so and causing me to avoid things, avoid talking to people. <laughs> so that's where I'm at with that. Um, this video is about I just happened upon one of the gay apps and this guy hits me up and it goes really quickly into oh I'd love to date you do you ever get to Massachusetts uh, and then he sends a whole bunch of pictures or oh, I'd love to see you and he's a few years older than me you know um, yeah he's a few years older than me a mature man but um, then he goes into, you know, are you top or bottom and what's your dick like and all that stuff. And I'm like, but he's saying like he wants to date, but then he's showing the signs that he's not so really. He wants the sex part, so, but, um, let's see. So I was getting into it, but then I have to kind of pull back. And I've fallen for this before, and there's a few people you know, who just, it's just about that, that online thing, that impulsive thing, he's like, you know, and I have to take it a little less seriously, because it's not serious at all, and, and this is what I discussed with my psychologist, it's, it's fast, you gotta pull back, you don't do anything that's like so fast like that, it's like tumultuous, tumultuous, turmoil, turmoil, like, um, whirlwind, it's too fast. Things things don't happen like that. You know what I mean? Um, some of the pictures got off because I don't have the pro the pro version. So some of the conversation we had is no longer there, <laughs> unless you pay for the pro version of this app. So 
Yeah, so the title of this vlog, um, what, no, I'm going to have to figure it out. <laughs> You'll see on the title. Alright, talk to you later.